Hey guys, good morning. It's about 9.45. I'm headed to stop really quickly at Michael's to get, um, or to see if they still have Christmas flowers. They may not at this point. I'm hoping that they do because Dollar Tree doesn't have what I'm looking for and that's typically where I get my flowers. That's where I have my non-holiday flowers from. Uh, did I say, hey guys, good morning? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh my gosh. And, but I got my fall flowers from Michael's. So I'm hoping Michael's has Christmas flowers that I'm looking for. Or at least something red. I don't even necessarily have. They don't have to be like poinsettias or anything. Um, just something red that I can put there in that bathroom. So Autumn is doing a little bit better today. She definitely has heart cold symptoms. She's got a very mucusy cough. I mean, I'm at least glad she's able to cough some of it up and it's not just a dry cough. Sometimes a dry cough is worse as an adult. I guess I don't know really what's worse for a kid because she can't talk to me and tell me. But unfortunately, there's not. I have some like homeopathic medicine at home. I think I may try and give her. I need to look at the years on it because I feel like I didn't give anything to Maddie until she was two. I don't know, an Emmy too. She didn't have to take anything before too, so I don't know. I have to look at it, but I feel really bad for her. She does have a cough, but she's doing okay breathing wise, and she has a runny nose. I we can handle a cold any day as long as her breathing is doing fine. So anyway, we're not gonna stay out very long. I'm just gonna stop by quickly at Michael's. Um, I'm gonna pick use it, the few extra care books that are expiring this weekend. And I don't even know how many I have, but some a lot of them expire on the 16th which is Saturday, so I'm gonna use up what I can and then just go home, rest and relax until it's time to get ready for Christmas pictures today. Okay, here's what I'm looking for. Now they have untraditional, like, um, if you're doing, what's wrong with this cart? <laughs> like a white Christmas. They have a bunch of really pretty stuff like this one. That's really pretty and actually, I don't know that this would be that bad mixed with some red because I have gold and silver in the bathroom and everything's 50% off already. I bless you, mama. Bless you, my honey. Mommy, you want these? I don't know. Mommy's thinking about it. Let's see. Yay, I'm so glad. I think they're going to have everything I'm looking for. Oh, those are beautiful, Maddie. Um, no, thank you. Hey guys, long time no vlog. So I think the last time I was vlogging, I was in Michael's, I want to say. And I ended up just calling it after that. I didn't go couponing because Autumn was just, look, she just looked really tired. And I knew I was taking that chance and she really, I mean, she was like kind of fussy most of the night and, you know, she was coughing and stuff, just trying to break up that mucus that she has and I just I don't know I felt bad for even taking her out so I was like you know what let's just go home so I went literally went to Michael's turned around and came right back home you feel better mama <laughs> um, so no couponing and then when we got home I made them snacks and stuff put autumn down for a nap and then I edited tonight's vlog just in case we have kind of a not a late night but just a busy night so I edited the vlog ahead of time which worked out well while she was sleeping of course I have these hormonal breakouts right here right before pictures perfect I know um, that got that done made some lunch for me and Maddie and then what else did we do um, I started straightening my hair, which obviously I got done, and Autumn just got out of the bath, and I'm getting ready. Emmy needs to be picked up from school in about half an hour, so I can, I'm, my goal is to be ready by the time she's home, so that I can start doing her hair. Maddie's about to take a bath, and... Yeah, and I think that's gonna be it. My husband got a haircut. Looks so handsome.
probably gonna be a hectic afternoon, so let me get busy. Okay, we made it out of the house. We are, we actually passed a little bit of the area where I'm thinking there's gonna be traffic. We're next to go on the light, so we're good. It's 4.33, our appointment's at five. I think we're gonna be okay. Um, I'll have to show you outfits after we're done because we're obviously all in the car. But, and Maddie fell asleep. And I was kind of hoping Autumn would fall asleep, but she's huffing and puffing back there. <laughs> so for makeup on my face, I did um, my usual, what I've been doing, the L'Oreal Pro Matte in Classic Ivory mixed with the CoverGirl BB Cream in Medium medium deep I believe and it's like my perfect shade still which leads me to believe that I've just kind of been wearing too light a foundation for me for a long time but whatever uh, for blush I'm wearing Bobbi Brown's Desert Rose which is my favorite in pictures because it's matte and it gives me that like nice kind of contoured slash natural look on the eyes, I'm wearing the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I couldn't tell you the colors names. I could I could tell you the colors, but not the color names. Um, on the lid, I'm wearing the champagne color. In the crease, I'm wearing the, all the way on the right, in the middle, the, like, not the darkest chocolate brown, the middle chocolate brown. And then I just have some mattes kind of underneath the lash line and in the crease. Um, nothing over the top. I'm wearing a little bit of champagne pop highlight and then my lipstick is Sephora cream lip stain in number 23. I don't know the name of it. Actually when I first put it on I was like oh that's a little dark. I don't know that I want it that dark but I think in the pictures my makeup always gets washed out. Always. It doesn't matter how heavy I apply it so I'm hoping watch today will be the day that it doesn't get washed out. But I'm hoping that's the case and it kind of washes itself out. And then um dress which like I said I'll show you guys a little later you're gonna see me in it a few times because this this is my holiday dress uh, is from Torrid it's that one that I ordered um, end of November right around Cyber Monday I'm wearing these earrings I think these are either from Payless or from um, maybe Forever 21 a really long time ago so I'm sure you couldn't get them anymore and then I'm wearing this gold little disc necklace that I got from Target dollar spot right around Mother's Day and then I took off my Fitbit but I don't know it I have a tan line so I went ahead and put on my Pandora bracelet in hopes that it covers it so that in the picture I don't I don't have this big old tan line on my wrist and then for I'm not wearing pantyhose or stockings or anything for shoes right now I'm wearing flip-flops but I brought some black heels that I got from Target a long time ago. The girls, yeah, if you want to, baby. Yeah, they're the most comfortable heels that heels can be, I guess. So, but we, I, I'm hoping if Autumn's in an okay mood, we can go eat and stuff after. And I'm not trying to be walking around the mall in heels. Uh, the girls' dresses I'll show when we're done. They're from Walmart, their leggings are from Walmart, and both of their, actually I think Emmy's shoes are from Payless, and Maddie's shoes are from Walmart, yeah. Autumn's dress is from Carter's, her leggings are from Walmart, her shoes are from Payless. All of their bows, Emmy's headband is from Dollar Tree, the little girl's bows are from Walmart. What else? My hand Benny? wearing a black couldn't get cream just didn't happen so what he did instead of wearing all black because he wore all black last year he has on a black express shirt and again I'll show you kind of head-to-toe when we get out of the car so are your pants gray from express too uh, express slacks and then do you have any idea where your shoes are from <laughs> he's had them for years and they're just like you're gonna have to get over since we've been able to take 
a superb picture. Although, although our spring pictures this year did came, they came out fantastic. But a Christmas picture, I should say. I think probably just that first Christmas that we started taking Christmas pictures with Emmy, and then the next one with this traffic over here is crazy. Anyway, um, the first pictures that we took the first year, the first Christmas. Emmy's first Christmas with us, and then um, Maddie's first Christmas. Those are the only two times, bless you baby, that we really took great Christmas pictures. <laughs> Every other year, we've had like one good one, um, but the rest of them, something's happening. I feel like, bless you baby, I feel like the more, bless you children, you accumulate in a picture, the harder it is to get a really good picture. So. Here's hoping, fingers crossed. And we're probably going to just get them digital unless they say that we can get the Christmas cards by this coming week. If that's the case, then I'll order the Christmas cards through them and we're going to JCPenney. But if they say that no, they won't be until the week after, ooh, guess it's $1.98 over here. Cool. Um, then I'm just gonna get digital and take it home and figure it out myself, so. Wish us luck! I'll show you guys what we look like afterwards. I'm trying to bring my spirits up right now. <laughs> it was a hot mess express during those photos. I'll have to show you guys. We, I think there were like, none of them except the two, the, there was two, there were two that the big girls took together. They were both good, of course. They love the camera and the camera loves them. But I'm just not feeling it not feeling it and it was no different for her birthday pictures you know it was happened to the exact same way we couldn't wrangle her every time we put her down to take the picture she wouldn't take it she'd walk off it was just a hot mess so we got our Christmas cards <laughs> that, that was the biggest thing we got a few extra prints so I'm hoping fingers crossed that the print the printing comes out okay I didn't there's no red in any of it we kept it very classic and I really love the way the actual Christmas card turned out so yeah again that I'll have to show you guys that when I get home I think I ordered enough of them hopefully last year I ran out hopefully I have enough of them this year so, anyway we're picking up food and then heading home getting these children in bed it's a little after 6 30 so we're having a late dinner luckily everyone bathed and everything earlier and I did that because I wanted I wasn't sure what was gonna happen tonight because we were going to try and go out to eat and go to the mall and take pictures with Santa but there's no way we're gonna even attempt to go take pictures with Santa well I couldn't even get Autumn to sit down for one picture <laughs> so we're gonna have to try that another day and plus like for pictures of Santa we don't have to be this fancy I mean you know we're gonna be walking in the mall with like poofy poofy dresses on so anyway food and then home Good job, Daddy. now we're at number 11 today's the 12th let's see what we get turn it back <laughs> and it's a little snowman hello <laughs> gonna place him right here okay Maddie nice you do 12 See what? What is it? A donkey! Okay, put it up there. Yeah, are you gonna put it? Are we gonna put it on the high ones, man? Oh, you can't reach there. Cool. All right, we're caught up. Well, days. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right Ooh. over Christmas. Yeah. One plus one, two. Two plus two, four. And until it's 25, it. Do you know how many more days until it's tw the 25th of December? Well, month? if it was 12 days till the 24th, how many days would it be till the 25th? 13! Good job! Tomorrow on 13, it would yes, be please. 12. Okay, y'all say good night. Autumn's asleep, so we'll have to do hers tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Ready? Good night. See you tomorrow. Autumn. What are you doing? She's you look guilty over here. Yeah. No, Adam. <laughs> She's always. Oh, damn. Good night. See you tomorrow. Cool. Yeah, I knew you were guilty. Put that thing back. <laughs> you look guilty, ma'am. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 
time out couponing full face makeup whatever what are you gonna do right I feel like such a novice doing this even though I've been doing it for a few months because I'm like walking around the store in circles man it's crazy I feel like literally like I don't know what I'm doing I'm like Melissa you've been here before many many times what are you doing with your life the problem is is I'm couponing at a different CVS this time because it's a bigger one and they have more things but I, I feel like I can't find any but I'm trying to use up all my coupons. I told you guys I had um, Not just coupons, but like my CVS extra care bucks. I have a few that expire the 16th and I wanted to go ahead and use them up plus get some deals for this week And then I'm gonna head home. All the girls are in bed. It's actually almost 10 p.m. I've been here for a little bit maybe like an hour or so So I'm about ready to head home too. I'm tired. Okay. I had a little bit of a mess at CVS I just got home and it's pretty late. It's like a little after 11, 11.09. And I just got to telling on the rest the whole thing because it was irritating. I hate going somewhere and having a fight with a cashier over something that I know is right. So I'll tell you guys what happened in a bit. But um, I picked up these Hershey's cookies because I was watching Nicole Burgess's video about these. And I was like, hmm, those look interesting. And they were actually really inexpensive. They were two for seven. There was a dollar off a two coupon and then a buy one get one free on coupons.com and it took up my coupon took off $3.99 because that's what it originated for. So I paid like a dollar for each of these. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I wanted to try those. I had a bunch of CRTs, which are those coupons that print from the red machine for Olay. I had that 15 off of 40 facial care from last week. I had a 7 off of 35 Olay and a 3 off of 12 Olay. However, my 3 off of 12 Olay did not come off. I don't know if it was because it didn't let it double up. I don't know because my Revlon one let me double up, but whatever. So the eyes, a bunch of the Olay stuff was 20 marked down to $24.99 and then you get a $3 extra care buck. And this was one of them, so it's just an eye cream. I go through eye cream pretty quickly. And then I needed two more things to get to $40 so I could use that 15 off of 40. But it ended it up it ended up being a really good deal. And plus all of this goes towards beauty, so I hit beauty just with this stuff alone. Um I got the Olay Luminous Micellar Water. And this is it's just like a little pump. I thought this was cool. I love micellar water, so I thought I would pick this up to give it a go. This skin to mint was on sale for $2.99. I don't know what the original price on it was. And I, it's funny, I was shaving today or this morning, and I was like, I'm almost out of shave cream. I and I don't that's not something I regularly stock. So I needed a new one anyway, so they were $2.99, get $1 extra care buck, and I had a dollar coupon, so this was $0.99, cents, which was a great deal, and I love Skin to Mint. It's actually the one I had in my shower right now. Revlon and Alme were on a promo, or a ECB for spend 12, get $4 extra, a $4 extra care buck. I had a $4 Alme CRT that came for everyone I believe and I had two Revlon CRTs one five dollar and one three dollar from last week the five dollars five dollar was from this week so this was 949 and Alme and Revlon can be combined this week so if you spend 12 on either one of them you get four dollars back and it rolls up to six times so this was 949 I've never tried this these are oh my gosh that writing's tiny Revlon Ultra HD lipstick and I got it in 710 HD desert and it, I don't know I thought it, it's just like a sheer your lips but better type color so I thought I would give that a go and my five dollar one came off fine the three dollar one got reduced of course so I'm going to have to call them and then I got the Alme makeup remover cleansing towelettes the ultra hydrating I have another one of these and I really like them for the face but also swatch removal they're great the toothbrushes were buy one and get a $3 extra care buck and they were on sale for three. No, they were a regular price 
but you get a three dollar extra care buck. So these were three seventy nine. These were four seventy nine. And we needed toothbrushes, so I went ahead and picked those up. I would have picked up two of these, but this was the only one that was left because it's a better deal. And I had a spend six dollars get one dollar off on manual toothbrushes so it, i got 50 cents off of that each one trolley this was the freebie of the week um these were two dollars with your cvs card and then you got two dollars in extra care bucks back the kisses were really good if you had that crt from less from last week it was one dollar off of any two hershey's and then this week they were on sale two for six dollars and then when you buy the two of them, you get a $3 extra care buck, making each one of these a dollar, which is a really great deal. So I'm gonna put these over there in my little candy dishes just for decoration. And then I think I wanna make these um, pretzel things with them later on towards Christmas. And then for my spend 20, get seven, extra care bucks. I got the Gliss product. I passed up so many of these coupons because I thought that is such a weird brand. <laughs> like who, what's the name of that? I don't, I never got it. And I always pass up the coupons cause I was like, no, that doesn't look like something I would buy. But the more people I see coupon it, the more I want to get it. So I went ahead and picked up two. These were $5.99 each. I had a buy two get four dollars off coupon. I didn't even smell it, but I picked up the how do you even say that? Schwarzkopf? Schwarzkopf? Schwarzkopf, I guess. Gliss Hair Repair, Ultimate Repair. And I got the conditioner and the shampoo just to give it a go. Like I said, I've never tried it. We needed distilled water. I hate buying things like this from CVS because I think this was like, I think I'm pretty sure I could have got distilled water for like 80 cents at HEB and I think this was $1.50, but that's okay. We needed it for Autumn's um, humidifier since she's been sick. Uh, hey, that's the same brand. I didn't even notice that. I thought it was the brand was got to be. Oh, I guess maybe that's the maker. Anyway, I don't know. Um, this was also part of the spend 20, get seven. There was a $2 coupon in, on this one. This is the got to be glued blasting free spray. Screaming hold for your hair. It's a hairspray, I guess. And I kind of just thought this was cool. It looks like a fog horn. Is that what it's called? Um, yeah, it's just a, a hairspray. So I thought I would give this to Andres and let him try it. He was just talking about buying this ridiculously expensive hairspray that he liked that I had a sample of. So that was $5.99 with a $2 coupon. And then to finish up my $20, I had a buy three, get one free on the Renewsits. And the coupon actually took off a dollar and 10 cents and these were on sale for 88 cents. So I made it a little bit better and it brought me right over $20. I've never actually tried these before but they're like those gel air fresheners. So I picked up two of the Blissful Apple and Cinnamon and two of the Forever Raspberry. Maybelline was buy two, get a $5 extra buck. And so I had a CRT for buy two Maybelline and get $2 off to make these. After that $2 off of um, two Maybelline products, it brought it down to these were only like a quarter a piece. I was trying to think. I actually thought they were a money maker, but they were only like a quarter a piece. So I got two eyeshadows and these are, this is the eyeshadow that I told you guys I had been looking for for a while, Nude Glow. And I was at a bigger CVS, so they actually had it. So I picked up two of them. And then here's the ticker on this one. <laughs> this is what I came home complaining to on the desk about. So the Maybelline Baby Lips are on sale for $3.99. I think they're they're normally $4.49. And then you get you buy one, you get a $3 extra care buck. So I really like this one, the quenched. It, it's the one that has SPF. I like wearing this one in the summer. Anything with SPF is great. Um, so here's the thing. I looked at my receipt after I went to go pay for one of them. And it, I noticed I paid full price for it, $4.49, and my extra care buck did not print out. So I went back to tell the girl and let me turn you guys around so you're not staring at a baby lips for the next minute. Uh, I went to go tell the cashier and she was less than friendly about taking care of it for me. I told her, I was like, look, this, I mean, this is on promo, 
there was clearly a sign I saw it in the ad I was like this was on promo it didn't ring up and she's like yeah it it wasn't included that happened to me too I was like okay how was it not included I said okay then I just want to go ahead and return it she's like oh no no you can't do that you only paid two dollars and sixty cents on your cash card because what I've been doing with my cash cards is any little overage that I have that I didn't have enough extra care bucks or something for I'm just taking it for my cash card that way I don't have to spend anything out of pocket she was like you only spent 260 so that's all I can give you back I was like hmm okay <laughs> so well that's not gonna happen because then I'm going to lose two dollars and get no extra care bucks so I was like can I exchange it can I do something to get my money back on it I was like that's not fair so she was like no I mean if we exchange it it'll be the same thing you only get that much money back for it and she's like I'm sorry like it happened to me too this one just wasn't included blah 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 it was only the top row I said okay funny and <laughs> I shop at CVS you guys know this I shop at CVS frequently and I know the ins and outs of most of what goes on at CVS and I just thought it was funny that she was real she was lying to me she was lying to me to get me out of her face and I just thought that was so unprofessional and rude and I just was upset <laughs> and it was at that point it was more about the principle that she wasn't even really listening to me she was just trying to get me out of her cash uh, out, out of her line so I said okay that's fine you know it's whatever so I got out of line I went back to the baby lips area. They were all tagged. The promotion said any baby lips. I looked at the ad. This one, this particular one is in the picture in the ad. And so I went back up there afterwards and I was like, look, I'm really, I'm not trying to be rude. I shop here frequently. I'm not trying to burn bridges because I mean, like I said, I'm here. Well, I'm, she didn't have to know that I really don't go to that one frequently, but it's just CVS in general. Like, I'm not trying to make anybody mad. Those cashiers work hard for couponers, and they don't have to. It's not part of their job description to do things for them. So I was like, I was like, listen, I'm not trying to be mean. I know it's three dollars, and maybe to you it's minuscule, but at the same time, like, I don't want to pay four forty nine for this. Why? I don't need it. I don't mind paying ninety nine cents for it, but I don't need it that bad that I want to pay four forty nine. So I told her I was like. Is there somebody else I can talk to, a manager or something? I said, because this is pictured, it says over there, any May Maybelline baby lips. Like, I have seen them when they're categorized where they're supposed to be. Like, CoverGirl, for instance, doesn't include eyeshadows this week. Certain things like that. It's not like I'm arguing something that's false. And she was like, no, I'm the supervisor. There's really nobody else that could help you. I was like... <laughs> testing my patience I said really I, I need to talk to somebody else I said because I either want to return this or somebody needs to give me my extra care bucks for it and she's like fine you know what let me call somebody else so she called the guy over and he was like yeah what's going on he was pretty chill laid-back guy I told him the whole thing and he's like well let's go take a look so he goes over with me to the baby lips baby lips oh my gosh baby lips area and he starts scanning them all and he's like hmm that's weird I said did I do something wrong is it not in the promotion I said cuz it's pictured in the ad so I, I kind of feel like that's false advertisement don't picture this one and then tell me it's not included and he said no it has I have a couple that have a different barcode is the same product same baby lips the blue one the quenched it just had a different barcode on the back so this is the barcode that was associated with the three dollar extra care buck coming back to you and the other barcode was not associated with it he's like I don't know why we have this barcode that's really weird there were two of them in the area I said so really it's just a matter of I didn't pick up the right barcode I was like that's not really my fault you guys put that there and he's like no totally that was that's our mistake we shelved it wrong or CVS sent us the wrong thing. He's like, no, you're 100% right. You should have got your extra care bucks for it. But unfortunately, because you did already pay for it, I can't just refund the money and then re-ring it up for you. And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> so it turns out he did just give me the $3 extra care buck. But unfortunately, I lost out on 50 cents because... I paid $4.49 instead of $3.99 for it. However, at the end of the day, 
$1.49 for a product is still a really good deal for that. I'm fine with that. I'm just happy that he actually was willing to help and accommodated, you know, and I mean, it's not like I, like I said, was arguing something that was just not the right thing. You know, if I had been like picking up a Revlon product and, and saying this was supposed to be $3 back in baby lips, ECBs, you know, then I can understand them being like, whoa, you're crazy. I'm not giving you anything. But I was legitimate. <laughs> that girl treated me like, I mean, she wasn't like super, super rude about it, but she was lying, physically lying to me to get me out of her way. So I told the guy, I was like, look, she probably thinks I'm hating her or something. I was like, I'm really not a rude person. I really was not trying to be rude at all. I was just trying to get her to listen and she didn't have time for that. So he was like, no, I, I totally understand. I got you. Anytime you come in, blah, blah, blah. So ended up being okay, but <sighs> CVS is starting to push me over the edge. I told him the rest. I was like, if it, if it weren't for all the really great deals, I, I mean, cause at the end of the day, you go in and you expect to pay a certain thing. And when you don't pay that thing, it is disappointing. However, it's still a great deal. And looking back on it, everything was still a great deal. Like I did not spend one penny out of pocket today, out of my dollars, dollars and change, nothing. Everything came from my extra care bucks and my cash card, which I got a few weeks back. So it's like, I realized I probably could have just let it go, but at some point it just became principal for me. So you guys ever have those moments where it's just like, I don't care if it's 50 cents, I'm gonna argue with you because I know I'm right. <laughs> so that it was this that moment I was like, how could you just kind of shove me to the side and not even be like, you're right, let me look into this for you. Anyway, I'm going to put this stuff away and call it a night. I need to upload the vlog. Thank goodness I edited it earlier today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today. I don't even know what the vlog looks like lengthwise. I mean, I just got done talking for 15, 16 minutes regarding couponing. It was overdue though. I haven't talked about coupon couponing in a long time, so. Anyway, like I said, I'm headed to bed. I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Bye.